What's up gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the fifth secret sage Minero. This thing is amazing because you can attach parts and weapons and attachments to this thing. It's one of the coolest ones in the game. It's awesome. And it can just run. Look how, look how sick it is. Anyway, uh, let me explain a few things before we jump into the video because the video has already begun. So in order to have the sage, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need 10 hearts on our character and we're going to simply just need a bunch of stamina in order to get there. So if you have one bar of stamina or two bars, just have some stamina food for this part. If you have the other sage already, Tullin, it's going to make it easier, but you do not need it. Now, basically where we're going to have to go is going to be this location on the map, which is this giant island called the Thunderhead Isles. Now, the crazy part about coming to this Thunder Isles is that the game actually requires us to finish all four temples in order to approach this, but we're going to bypass this by doing this little secret strat a little bit early in order to do this. And our location is going to be where these storm clouds are. And this is going to be located right above the Farron area. All right, let's get into this and head over to this island. All right, so in order for us to go ahead and head over to the secret area in the sky in order to get this sage, we're going to have to go from this tower right here. So this is going to be in the Rabella Wetland Skyview Tower. This is where you're going to pop out of. Now, it's going to be pretty easy to get to the location we need to. All you're going to need is really uh, some stamina food. So that's it. So if you have not a lot of stamina, just bring a lot of stamina food and just follow along as we head over to the spot. So when we're up in the sky, you're going to put your parachute just like this. And we're going to be aiming right towards the storm. While we're flying in the air, you should hit that subscribe button if you do find these videos useful. Just hit it real quick. It helps the channel. And you'll know a bunch of secrets about this game and how to do things a lot better than other players. And it gives you a high enough liftoff where we're going to be seeing the storm right below us. And we're not going to be going up here. We're going to be going down to this little storm down there. And you're going to watch that I don't have my Tullin to help me at all. He's not going to be pushing me. I'm literally just running on stamina here. Um, And if you have one bar or two bars, just constantly keep refilling it with your stamina food and this is really simple <laughs> like i'm literally just going to be flying down here just like this on the paraglider it is pretty easy so you just keep going this way and the interesting part is during the daytime it's a lot easier to see at nighttime it gets a little more complicated and for some reason when we are going to be getting closer it's going to be a little more difficult to see but you'll see that as we approach this area okay so at this point i'm going to just kind of slowly make my way into the small cloud area area. Okay, here's where it gets important. As you are getting closer to the storm and you're entering the area, go ahead and open your paraglider right here and mark this spot ASAP. Right here, this is the exact spot where you're, you will be going to. And as soon as you get here, you're going to see it because it's daytime, it's nice and clear. But as soon as we land... It's going to be chaotic. So what you want to do is just simply head into this area and you're going to just drop down once you get your full entire stamina. You're going to most likely see a green glowing shrine down here and you're just going to drop down over here and going to find this shrine. Then you're going to go ahead, tap it to activate it, then cut the branches in front of you and move forward towards the door. Okay, so place your hands on the door and this is when it's going to check your hearts. So it's going to go through this little scene. The circle is going to fill up. And if you don't have enough hearts, well, it's not going to open for you. So make sure you have your 10 hearts for this. Then the door is going to open up and you can proceed further in. And you're going to find this mask over here. Just go ahead and click on this mask. You're going to see a green glow on it and it's going to shoot a beam. And pretty much what you want to do is go to the location where that beam is. Pick up that helmet and have Link and start running and you're going to see a platform right out over there, which is going to look familiar and a glider. Now you can use your own auto build machine that you want, or you can just go ahead and put it on this one. So I attached the helmets to the top of this flying machine. Then I went ahead and grabbed two fans and attached it on top of the flying machine. And then right after that, smacked it and we are off. Now, you're going to want to pay attention to the green beam. That's going to tell us where we're exactly going to go. So I'm keeping my eyes on the green beam. Um, if you're in front of a rock, the green beam will aim at that rock. So you're going to want to aim down below. So just navigate around these rocks and be really careful and use the glider as a way to really help you go down. So if you stand all the way in the front, it's going to dive down faster. If you pull up by walking towards the back of it, it's going to go back right and left at this point just aim towards the wall you could also just keep going you might bang into a wall over here yep, yep 
Yep, I hit the wall. It's okay. We should be fine. There we go. Go ahead and shake off the mask from the plane. Pick it up and head over and place the, or just put it close by to this spot. And then this shall open up for you a little secret device, Zonai device. And here we go. It's going to move up while you hold your helmet. Then proceed to go down these steps. You could also ultra hand it. So if you don't want to walk too slow and you're going to place it on another platform. And this is going to be Tobio's hollow chasm. So this is a little secret chasm to go down. And we went all the way from the sky and we're making our way down to the depths once we do this. This time I got it in. You'll get another cutscene and the platform will start to move down. We are going low. Once you get to the bottom, the green beam of light is once again going to shoot out. So go ahead and pick that up and head towards where it's supposed to go in. It's telling you, you got to put it in that mold and you are now going to be in the construct factory. So just angle the piece you need and place it right there. And that is going to be the head of our robot or our construct. After that cutscene, you're then going to just quickly go ahead and tap that light route so you can reveal the whole area that's going to make life so much easier down here by lighting it up a bit there we go so much better from the cutscene, the robot did show four spots. Two to the right, back right, back left, one close to the light route, and then we're going to go to the back right over here and closer towards the robot. So there's basically four rooms. And we're going to be hitting each one of these to get a piece of the robot or the construct. So the first one I'm going into is going to be the left leg depot. This is going to be the one that is all the way to the left. Now, as soon as you run inside of here, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and activate this hand immediately. Immediately. This is going to initiate this area. You get a green glowing light and you're then going to move this piece throughout the entire area. Now you can't just take this piece and go out because yep, there you go. The door is shut and the other door opens. So go ahead and ultra hand this and you're going to place it on one of these platforms and we're just going to make that go all the way up by smacking the rockets. Yep, hit the rockets and go all the way up and make sure to grab that with your hand. Okay, uh, I'm my piece of the construct fell, so I'm just going to use my recall to bring it back up in case anything happens. All right, go ahead, ultra hand your device again, and you're going to keep moving forward with it. So grab that and what you're going to do is then go to place this platform at an angle over here. You're going to see this little spinning thing and you're going to see this come down and you want to face it at a appropriate angle where you can lift off pretty much pretty well. Once you get the angle you want, you're going to put your ultra hand and piece of the construct over there. And then you're going to go ahead and attach some rockets so you can give it some momentum and shoot it off. This is what it looks like once you put the rockets on. And I'm going to go ahead, stand on this and smack it. And we reach the top of the next part. <laughs> so basically, we're just going to be bringing this all around with us to finish this entire puzzle. Then I'm ultra handing this again and I'm running to the next section. And look at that. We are done with this first one. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this down below. Send it out and drop. From here, you're just going to ultra hand this and head towards the statue and going to drop it right in front of it. You're going to head to the construct with this continuing further and you're going to drop it right in front of it. This is going to then uh, prompt a little puzzle for you to not really a puzzle, but you just got to rotate it so it fits in properly and it's going to light up exactly where you have to put it. So make sure you just rotate it in that right direction and smack and you're done with the left leg of it. It's going to look like the right leg to you, if that makes sense. So it's left leg. Okay, next we're going to be heading towards the left side, again, facing away from the bot. So from the construct, I'm going to be heading towards the top pathway, which is going to be the one all the way to the top left. And this time, instead of just trying to fly over to it, you're going to run up this bone on this area. And you're going to see another light route that's straight up ahead. So we get to hit another light route while making our way over there. It's pretty much a straightforward pathway. Once you reach the top of this light route, go ahead and activate this one. This will also reveal more of the area. From here, you're just going to continue moving a little more left towards the location right over there, right across. So just continue through this pathway, avoid finding any enemies because we want to rush through this as fast as possible. All right, jump on this, turn right. And then once you reach the edge of this platform, you're then going to simply just do an easy peasy glide to where you have to go. You should be able to reach this without any assistance at all and arrive right there. And you will arrive at the right leg depot, which is on the left, but it's the right leg, if that makes sense. Go ahead and activate this device. The right leg will drop down. The door will close. 
the next section will open up then we're just gonna ultra hand that up to the platform just like that and then go ahead and smack it so you can get it running and it's gonna eat your battery and i'm doing this with three batteries okay get off this platform ultra hand it and move it away drop this and then you're gonna pick up another device right over there that is on the railing and you can see the angle that it's at you're gonna have to change it in order to help this get through so just re-angle this just like that because that's gonna be able to slide right through those lines then go ahead and attach your parts right to the bottom of that and then we're gonna need momentum to push it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these fans right over here from this platform so i i hit this again and i have this fan <laughs> on ultra hand i forget to turn this off and uh, oh uh, oh don't fly and okay perfect it didn't get away from me then i power that off uh to conserve some battery there and then what you want to do is go ahead and ultra hand this fan onto the build over here and that's gonna shoot it forward so there you go shoot that and that's gonna run it all the way across to where it needs to go and you can make your way over across there there you go you can just see it go right there and it's gonna drop perfect you did it right congrats then go right under this thing here and then ascend right up okay ultra hand this device and you're gonna separate it from everything you have over here separate the other pieces from this device and go ahead and pick it up and you're going to bring it on to another platform just like this then go ahead and activate the fans and that's gonna bring you up have your ultra hand ready as it goes up as well and look at that grab that ultra hand and move it and then we're just gonna bring this over here because we have made it to the top of where we need to be and you can see right from here the construct is down there so to have it go down uh, pretty safely there's gonna be a little wing right on top of here i'm just gonna go ahead and grab a wing if you have it in your inventory you can also pull it out but i just wanted to use all the materials around me for the sake of this video so i'm just gonna grab this wing over here and bring it further down and then i'm attaching the construct leg onto it grabbing a fan i'm ultra handing the fan and away we go and then i'm holding the uh the leg which is pretty fun so it's not really putting as much crazy weight as i want you just have to bring yourself down here so you don't have to do any crazy uh shenanigans just angle yourself down and you should be fine once you're back at this construct go ahead and deliver the right leg to it and place that in so now we're just going to have to get the arm. So just right from the statue facing this way, we're going to go and to the right. So just be aware that there is a bunch of gloom on these steps here. Keep that in mind. Um, and we're going to head right up there to that section. So just follow along real fast. Walk up past these bokoblins, turn right, continue up these sets of steps, then turn left into this room, which is going to say right arm depot. And you're going to go ahead and press this to activate it. The, the next piece should fall down right over here. Go ahead, grab it with Ultra Hand and place it right up this platform and it should shoot it up all the way. Um, I decide just to Ultra Hand it and walk with it <laughs> just because I want to go past it pretty quick. All right, this is where things are going to get a little spicy here. So you can see this little platform here. It's going to have a little angle. You're going to grab one of these wheels on the side here and you're going to want to angle it in a way where it can run across at a corner. So let me show you properly how I'm going to attach this thing to it. So I'm going to place the block right up against this slab here just like this and then what you want to do is going to want to grab the wheel and put it up at a proper angle on it so you're going to want to attach the wheel onto the block kind of like that at this angle over here then i'm going to go ahead and lift it up and place it on the block so you can see the wheel is kind of running on that edge over there and you want to make sure it's going to be able to run and it works it's just going to ride across. It's not as complicated as it looks. Sometimes you might overcomplicate this one. Sometimes you might not. But it does the job and gets it across. So then you're going to go ahead and ultra hand it and take it with you to this area. Now you can simply just run down these steps. But I want to be a little complicated and build a car to drive it down. But feel free just to run it down whatever way you want. Okay, there's my car. <laughs> and I'm just going to drive this down to the spot. So it's a pretty nice car. And I'm just going to head right, right to the construct. We're going to drop this off. There we go. Stand right in in front of it take this off and it breaks apart all right and then place this piece right there all right uh, just make sure you angle it in the right spot hold on and done okay now that we finished the one over there we're gonna be heading to the one right in the back right facing away from the statue so head to those green lights over there we're gonna be heading towards the back right one so run over to where that log is kind of leaning up and we're just going to climb straight up that pathway towards that. See, it's not actually that bad. It's it's pretty simple. I ignore these over here. I'm not in the mood to fight some trees. Climb all the way up and then you're going to arrive at the left arm depot. 
go ahead and activate this device and our box containing the next piece will be over here this one i think is probably the most complicated one out of all of them let me know which one you think is actually the most complicated one but this one i found a little more little more challenging so go ahead and grab that with your ultra hand and just move it slightly out of the way over here now <laughs> What you're going to be doing is hitting this over here by lifting it up. And if you drop it down, it goes down. Uh, so something I quickly want to do is I move this close to where the door is. And I'm just going to use recall to bring this door back up while switching ultra hand to get through this door. I don't know. I just like, I like comboing these things. Then once you're here, you're going to want to build a little vehicle in order to get this across so you can make a little car. And there are two wheels on this side of the door. We want to just rip that off with ultra hand one and attach it to the vehicle or bring it right by here and just kind of uneven place it don't place they're not gonna place this completely even and grab this wheel and place this wheel on a opposite end and a little diagonal then i'm gonna place my little control right up here dead center like that and i'm going to face this vehicle so i could just quickly get across and hop on i didn't even ride it i could have just rode it and get across that little bit of lava all right you can drive this a little further here and here's where the next part of the puzzle is how on earth are we gonna get this across this little area angle this device so it's facing this way just like this and then you're going to attach a wheel to the right side and we're going to grab another wheel and attach it to the left side like this because this is the best angle that we're going to have then i'm just going to go ahead and smack this and this will run us right across this little platform that easy grab this and we're going to go ahead and separate that from the wheels lift up this door with your ultra hand and then leave it for a few seconds all right cool now i'm going to go ahead and hit recall on this thing switch to ultra hand real fast and grab my block because i don't want to figure out any crazy puzzles when this trick is so simple to do <laughs> there we go pretty sure it has to do with something with that fan on the on this side over there all right now that you got this through the door we're going to take this and place this over here then i'm going to go ahead and grab this fan i'm just going to hit it real quick so i can save some battery back to my ultra hand pick that up attach it to this grab my steering wheel over here ultra hand this and place this block in the water and then smack the device to activate it and this is just gonna go and we are heading right towards the statue where it is there we go nice so then you're just gonna hop off over here to the shore switch to your ultra hand grab the device and just walk it over drop it right in front it's gonna break and attach the final piece just like that after you finish up a cutscene talking with mineru you're then going to hop on mineru and approach the platform straight ahead of you this fan by the way if you attach it to its back it, it it can it can run a lot faster so once you're at this platform you'll get more options and it'll point you in the direction that you are supposed to be going which is gonna be right there so i'll go ahead and attach a chain ball to the arm here a spiked iron ball and go ahead and attach a shock emitter or whatever you want honestly it really doesn't matter at this point and then go ahead and make your way down to that first platform you don't have to fight any enemies if you don't want to i i suggest just going forward so you can quickly finish this quest once you arrive at the next platform you can pretty much just head to the next one that's straight ahead of you you don't need to ride mineru to get to another platform she's actually going to just teleport over to you which is going to be interesting i didn't think so first here i was like oh do i have to ride it over here that's gonna take too much time and then as i approach this platform as soon as i drop here watch this this is this is cool also, real quick, go ahead and, and attach that cannon over there to Monero. I didn't do it in this part of the video, but you should definitely attach that cannon. Very important for after this. And there, Monero's there. So you can keep going uh, and continuing forward. So once Monero teleports there, you're going to get another a notification of where you need to go. And you're going to head over right to that light route that is straight ahead. There's the light route. And now let's unlock the area and you'll reveal more of the area from here you're gonna want to face the direction of the blue henix henox and uh pretty much just go in that direction towards the quest marker on your map all right so just continue straight and run past this guy it should be pretty easy to kill but no point in engaging because we want to hurry up and get this sage added to our team that's that's all i'm doing to it okay <laughs> keep going and there right in front of us is the next platform that we have to be at and don't forget to pick up some pose on the way because you can use it to buy some nice armor down here and then you can see in the distance right as you approach this platform the next one is just straight ahead straight ahead over there and there's also cannons at this one so um if you can attach your cannons to mineru gonna be very important if you forgot at the first platform so just make your way over you can climb all these rocks because mineru is gonna teleport to you so you don't have to do the whole entire breaking 
rocks in front of you while riding. There we go. And we're going to fly over here, right past all this gloom. Also, there's a nice deposit here full of zonite. So if you want to get that, you can also probably get that if you want. When you arrive at this next platform, it's then going to show that Mineru is going to need something to get up there because the spirit construct cannot go ahead and climb up that thing. So what you're going to need to do is attach a rocket to the back of Mineru. And the rockets are right over there. So just go ahead and hit X and attach it by hitting Y to the back part. Then what we're going to do is approach that temple, get really close to the wall, and then we're going to lift off. And that's going to bring us forward and right to where we need to go. After we approach this spot, we're going to just head to that little statue over there, just like this. Again, make sure you have a cannon attached to your hand from one of those areas ahead of time. A cannon and the spikes ball are going to be your best friends for this upcoming fight. The platform is then going to go down and then you're going to see the object that we are going to have to get in order to summon Minero anytime we want on this robot or construct so make sure you're all prepared you're all healed up with whatever food you need i dropped a travel medallion here so i can just go ahead and go to a, a light bloom so i can get my hearts back okay let's hop on minero and continue forward all right drop a save here hop on minero and we're just gonna go up here and walk towards the area but you can see this looks like a little arena and we are going to go ahead to this fight and of course then a bunch of cages will show up around you and the boss will arise from the floor it feels like a battle robot battle rumble kind of thing so this boss is actually pretty decent and you can start the fight by blasting it with cannons but just cannons alone won't do the job you're gonna need a melee weapon for this so like i said the best combo is gonna be your cannons and a spiked ball and there are some spiked balls in the corners here so i'm just gonna go ahead and attach that because i did switch out to two cannons anyway here we go so you can shield and parry this monster so that was a parry that i just did and when you hit it with the spike ball it's gonna throw it away to that corner so the strategy here is to shoot it with a cannon kind of stun it and then smack it one two three and you into the electric fence to do damage it's gonna turn around and as soon as it jumps you're gonna go ahead and shoot it with a cannon and then rush it again smack it three times one two three boom hits the side then it's gonna jump again get your cannon ready oh that was a miss that did get me on a hit boom and then run up to it give it three hits one two three okay that was an extra fourth one all right it's up against the wall and it's gonna jump over and then as soon as it jumps again it's gonna shoot a cannon at you but you're gonna shoot it first and incapacitate it whack it three times there we go. And then it's going to enter phase two once it reaches 50% health. And this kind of reminds me almost of like the Blight Ganons for some reason. It, it's kind of like it, but it's kind of not. Anyway, so the next part of the fight, it's going to have these extension arms. Do not panic. It's literally the same exact fight. Nothing is going to happen here that's going to scare you. So just go ahead, shoot it with the cannon again, run up to it. One, two, three. And if your spiked arm does break, just go ahead and grab another one that is on the corners here. All right, shoot a cannon at it. It's going to be incapacitated again. I just wanted to do it again just to make it on fire that's the second hit that's your third hit and this is a fourth hit so three to four hits so you smack it into a corner it's gonna jump again aim your cannon there you go and it's it's rinse and repeat baby if it gets away from you you're gonna just go ahead and shoot it again it's gonna go up to do an attack that's it it's cannons are basically gonna save you here one two three and then we have one more hit left on this guy he jumps again i'm gonna eat my food here so i don't die raw food baby raw food aim the cannon again at it okay my cannon broke so i'm gonna shield parry it and i'm just gonna hit it up and one more smack into the wall. It's gonna it's gonna dodge me and parry itself. I'm also gonna parry back, and that should do the trick. Then you're gonna beat it and it's going to explode. Then go ahead and pick up the heart that dropped in front of you and approach the reward. Now that you got Minero, you're probably also gonna want to know how to do this. So click on this video to watch and find out. Oh my god. 